I've become interested in the idea of, of drawing attention to things that people overlook. The neglected, things that are quiet, that are uh, in birding community, they would be called skulkers. For me, it's just an awareness of what's going on around me. All the calls. Um, I cannot not hear the calls. I keep the door open so I can listen for things. Talking about the elusiveness of some of these birds, not so much the purple finches, but the sparrows. I think the cluttered backgrounds um, kind of uh, contribute to the idea of these things live in the bushes, you know. Their cryptic coloring is to protect them from predators. Everything's trying to eat everything out here. And just since being out here and immersing myself in all this, I kind of pick up, I'm starting to use, some of the flower patterns are based on, uh, do reference for like flowers that I'm interested in. They're really exaggerated, but it's things, you know, um, that are around me. And I think this series, Exalt, which um, I just finished number 50, was a, it was a change from Americana, which was about the destruction of nature, to appreciating what's here and not being brought down by political climate or environmental issues and just trying to be more in the moment, almost like a Japanese type approach. Plus, I feel like I do owe a bit to uh, Japanese culture because I'm very interested in their idea of craft. And I think some of the, um, some of the way the composition is lined out is, is, is kind of based on some of their imagery, simplifying, um, flat, kind of a Japanese screen-like thing. I don't know what kind of paintings they are. They're representational magic realism probably because I'm not completely relying on um, mimicking nature, but there are things around us that are there all the time. Like I, like that's why I do my bird hikes. I've been doing the bird hikes for over 20 years. And when I show somebody a Baltimore Oriole, they're like, I didn't know that thing existed. And I said, they're all around you all the time. If you identify the call, you can see this bird that is the most brilliant orange yellow with a black head and you're just like, this is ridiculous how bright this thing is. And maybe if you see it, you would appreciate it. People don't, I, I don't think people miss things if they never knew it was there. You know, I hope like with my bird hikes, I hope that I have created some naturalist.